Hello everyone, my name's Diane and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be learning how to do the Elizabeth stitch. So let's just take a quick look on what this stitch looks like. It forms a lovely textured pattern with raised stitches. It creates quite a thick and substantial material. So it's great for those crochet, winter crochet projects. And it looks the same on both sides. So it's perfect for scarves, and blankets. It reminds me of the basket weave stitch but it's much less complicated to actually create. The stitches are very simple and they work up very, very quickly. So as you can see, a beautiful stitch. And what I would like from you guys is if you could put in the comments what you would make with this stitch or indeed what would you like to see a tutorial on in on this channel in this stitch and of course always hit that like button it's a small thing but it helps me to keep on bringing great crochet content to you like this so let's get on with the elizabeth stitch so this stitch can be made in any type and size yarn but today I'm using a worsted weight yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook size. And just to note, I'm using US terminology. So we'll start with a slip knot. And we're going to do a chain in a multiple of two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you would make the chain to the length or the width that you want your project to be. But just for this video, I'm just going to make a swatch of 20 chains. So once you've reached the width of your project, you then add four more chains. Okay, so for row one, we're going to place a single crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. Put your hook straight in there, yarn over and pull up a loop and keep your loops nice and loose. Then yarn over and put your hook back into that same stitch yarn over and pull up another loop again pulling the loops up nice and loose then yarn over and pull through all of your loops then chain one and that is an Elizabeth stitch. So then we're going to skip a chain and make our next stitch in the next chain. So hook straight in, yarn over and pull up a loop. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, put your hook into that same stitch Yarn over, pull up another loop. 
Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then chain one. Then we're going to skip a chain, work into the next. Hook in, yarn over and pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, put your hook into that same chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then chain one. And then skip one, work into the next. Put your hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, put your hook back into that same stitch. Yarn over and pull up another loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops and chain one. And continue doing this all the way along your foundation chain. Skip one, work into the next. Always skip one in between and work into the next. So continue all the way along your foundation chain. So we're just coming up to the end of the row and you have two chains left. So we skip one and put in our last stitch into that last chain. Then chain one. And there is row one. So moving on to row two, chain two, and turn your work. Now we're going to continue to make the Elizabeth stitches. And the first one, we put these stitches just to the left of the Elizabeth stitch below. So the first one goes in this space, the first space to the left of the stitch below. So hook in, pull up a loop. Yarn over and then put your hook straight into the same stitch. Pull up another loop. Yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one. And then the next stitch again is going to be this space just to the left of the Elizabeth stitch here. So you put your hook into that space there and pull up a loop. Yarn over, put your hook back into that same space, pull up another loop. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Then chain one. 
and then find your next uh, stitch which is here's your Elizabeth stitch from the row below so it's the space just to the left of that your hook in yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and put your hook back into that same stitch and pull up another loop four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all four loops chain one and continue all the way along find your next one is just to the left of this Elizabeth stitch here hook in make your next stitch so continue to do row two all the way until you're approaching the end of the row so we're just coming up to the end of row two and this is what your work should look like now to finish row two and each and every row thereon slightly different to finishing row one so if you are finishing it the same as row one we would place our next stitch in here just to the left of your elizabeth stitch just there but we finish the row by putting it just to the right of your chain three here so that you haven't got it sticking out at the end of each row so put your hook just to the right of your chain and make your last stitch in there exactly the same hook in pull up a loop yarn over hook in the same space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all four loops and there you have finished row two. Now we're going to change colour here. And normally we would yarn over and do a chain one. But instead, we're going to finish the stitch with our second colour. So bring in your second colour hook over and pull that through if you are continuing in the same color you would just chain one and continue then we will grab our scissors and snip off the gray and then chain two one two and turn your work and we will continue in our second color and you can already see the space where we put our first stitch so put your hook in there and pull up a loop yarn over hook into that same space and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one and you'll see your next see your elizabeth stitch here and there is a space just after it put your hook in there and make your next stitch and 
Okay, so continue all the way along to the end of this row. And I'll just show you once more time how to put in that last stitch. So we're just coming up to the end of the row and I'll just show you how to put the last stitch in at the end of the row one more time. You find the your chain three here. Now don't put a stitch in here which is where you would think to put it in just to the to the left of this Elizabeth stitch here don't put one in there put your last stitch to the right just put your hook into the right hand side of that chain and put in your last stitch in here exactly the same way exactly the same way you do it this every stitch and then chain one the wool is snagging a little bit here there we go and that's how you put in your last stitch of every row now then you chain two, one, two, and turn your work and continue exactly the same, putting in your first stitch just to the left of this stitch, this stitch here. Hook in, put your first stitch in there. And continue along this row exactly the same until you get approaching the end of the row and then I'll just show you how to change color back to the gray color so again we're coming up to the end of the row and you'll see your last stitch here and you would normally put your last you don't put your last stitch in here. Find your chain three, which is just here. There's your chain. Put your hook just to the right of that chain and make your last stitch here. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. And to change color, before you chain one, bring in your gray. Place the gray over your hook. And make your we're finishing the chain one effectively by just pulling that through and then you would grab your scissors and snip off your cream and then continue with your gray for two rows so I'm changing colors every two rows. So chain two and turn your work. Now, if you want to just tie these little ends so they don't slip out, you can. Just tie those little ends together, you can. So continue now for two more rows. 
in the grey. Putting in your first stitch in here. Hook in. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then chain one. Continue putting in your Elizabeth stitches. And if you're wanting to change color, change color every two rows and keep going until your project is your, the length that you want it to be. So I've gone ahead and done 18 rows in total and I've sewn in all the ends and this is the finished result. And if you look closely, it is indeed a beautiful stitch. So I hope this video helped you to create this Elizabeth stitch. Any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will see you next time.